everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Making Tracks stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fun textured stitch. Uh, we're using crossed double crochet stitches uh, that are interspersed between rows of double crochet stitches. The stitch works up pretty quickly. Uh, all the texture is on one side of the pattern. The back doesn't look too bad. It looks very, fairly clean but the texture is all on one side. Today I'm going to be working in two different colors of worsted weight cotton. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. It's a 100% cotton yarn and I'll also be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description. If you're going to work the stitch as I do today, you're going to need two different colors. In the description of the video you'll also find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to look around, feel free to subscribe, and uh, say hello down in the comments. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. I'm going to start working today actually in my color B, so my accent color. You're going to begin by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of four stitches. So today I'm going to chain 24. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four into that fourth chain. Work one double crochet. The chain three at the beginning counts also as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, you're going to switch to your color A in the final stitch. When you come across at the end of row one, you want to switch to your color A in your final stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to drop the color you're working with, your color B, and then pick up your color A, place it on your hook, and then pull through. You're then all set to continue working with the color B. For this pattern, I leave my, um, or sorry, color A, I leave the other color attached because I'm going to pull it up the side. But depending on what you're doing with your finished product, if you're not working in edging, you may wish to weave in your ends and fasten off each time. It's up to you. So for row two, you can chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, skip the next three double crochet stitches and double crochet into the next stitch. Now working in front of the double crochet just made, so we're going to be working on this side, we're going to double crochet into each of the previously skipped stitches. So we've worked this cross double crochet we're going to double crochet beginning back in the first skipped stitch and we want to be working in front of that cross stitch just made and work three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. All in front of the double crochet that you worked. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and then double crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to repeat. So now again working in front of the stitch just made, double crochet in each of the skipped stitches. There's one, two, and 
the third. and then repeat. Skip the next three stitches, double crochet into the next stitch, working in front, double crochet into each of the skipped stitches. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row two, you're going to finish off with a double crochet into the top of your turning chain. Chain three and turn your work. Now when you look at your work you should see these crossed double crochet stitches in front of the three that you've worked. We're going to continue working our texture once again, we're going to begin with by skipping the next three double crochets into that next double crochet stitch. Work one double cro crochet. This time, working in behind the stitch just made, we're going to double crochet in each of those skipped stitches. So yarn over, bring that crossed stitch in front, and just double crochet into each of the three skipped stitches. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and then double crochet into the next stitch. Once again, working in each of the next or the previous three skip stitches and in behind the double crochet just worked, double crochet into each of those skip stitches. Continue that all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row three, you're going to double crochet into the top of your turning chain, switching to your color B uh, in this final stitch. You can pick up your color B and just gently pull it up the side if you would like. Just don't pull it too tight because you don't want it to bunch. You're then with your color B, chain three and turn your work. Now for row four, we're simply going to double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet into each stitch all the way across, picking up your color A when you come to that final stitch. When you come across at the end of row four, you're going to double crochet into your final stitch and pick up your color A. Now you'll notice that your color A is not down here on your left side. Just pull up your loop a little bit and you're going to go back to the start of the row and insert your hook into the top of that first uh, chain three into that first stitch. and then you'll find your color A down on that side. You can pick up your color A and pull it through. You're then going to chain three and there's no need to turn your work. Okay, so our color B is back over here and we've picked up our color A. You're then going to uh, repeat. So that is it as far as the repeat of the pattern. We're going to repeat rows two, three and four for as long as you would like. So you'll remember your row two was to skip the next three stitches, double crochet into that next stitch, and then working in front of that double crochet just made double crochet into each of the skipped stitches. So continue and then you're going to do your row back and then your row of double crochets, uh, but that's all there is for the repeat in this pattern. You'll continue to switch colors uh, as you did before as you go along. And uh, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to do this making track stitch. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you next week for another stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting.
Bye.